Behind me is the team bus of one of the most successful teams of 2015. They've won Tour of the Basque Country, they've won Tour of Romandy, they've won Tour of Flanders. I could go on. Let's go and check out what's inside the nerve centre. Now, first impressions, this is a very sociable bus. I like that. We've got riders sitting two up on each side. None of this, like, on your own little pod thing. They don't recline. These poor guys haven't got reclining seats. Amazing that they've won so much despite that. Hey, that's all right. This is the bus driver. Hello. Moving back, we've got the uh, rider kind of preparation area, obviously. Pre-race, people are going to be sat down, getting their legs rubbed, getting a bit of embrocation putting on. Now that's obviously just one TV. We've got another one at the back there so the riders can be entertained whilst they're cruising along. Hey, check it out. It's not just uh, Daniel Lloyd who can get a free hat when he's doing a bus tour. We are still a couple of days before the Giro d'Italia is due to start as we're filming this, but the riders' kit is all laid out. These are the wet bags of the team. So we've got Belkov, Aero helmets here. Look at that, look, they've got two wet bags each, one for car one, one for car two. That's cool, that's when you know you've made it. Not only do you get a kit bag with your name on it, you get two kit bags with your name on it. It's going on each team car. Check it out, there's a third TV screen as well. Man, these guys have got it all. First cupboard you come to, this is where all the energy gels and stuff, at the moment we've only got some science support recovery drink, but that is normally stacked full of gels and things. The obligatory coffee machine, this is quite a, this is quite a bad boy coffee machine actually. Up here. Ah, beverage compartment. So all the coffee stuff, all the pods. Hob there so we can cook uh, pasta or rice before the, uh, the team is, uh, is gonna finish the stage and they'll have fresh food. Yeah, there you go, rice cookers, pans. Super important to get proper food down you. And if there's a big transfer, which riders are often faced with at the end of a stage, and if you're gonna be doing another 12 days of racing, you need to make sure that you've got the right food on the bus so that they can recover quickly. So lovely uh, quartz work top there, that's a bit classy. It's stocked only with water at the moment. The Soigneurs haven't yet been to their supermarket run yet, so all the juices and the energy drinks and stuff aren't in the fridge as yet. Hey, check it out, there's an iron in there. I'd say that'd be for ironing on the um, transfers. If a guy gets a leader's jersey, then the team have transfers and they go on the leader's jersey and they iron it on. And there you go, you've suddenly got a branded leader's jersey. A few musettes, more coffee cups. This is a team that like their refreshments. I'm, I'm on the same wavelength, I'm enjoying this. Tell you what, that is a nice bathroom there. Check it out, proper tiling. This is a classy bus, I'm not gonna lie, this is very cool. Race radios tucked in there, so pre-race checking everything out. Ah, amazing. Communal showers. It's, it's pretty tight in there, but there's three showers so uh, I'm not entirely sure how often they get used at the same time, but this looks like the nerve centre. We've got more wet bags here. We've got a lot of the Soigneurs kit, another two TV screens. So I have a feeling that guys will be travelling in this bus in various different places. Finally, I think we should mention the air conditioning unit as well. That is critically important, this bus. While the Giro d'Italia might not be super hot, these air conditioning units are gonna be absolutely essential with the riders are gonna be sat in this bus and it's 35 degrees outside at the Vuelta. So there we go, that's Katusha's team bus. I'm not gonna lie, I really like this bus. It's got a particularly mature feel, all this dark wood. Now, depending on what your favorite team bus of the Pro Peloton is, I've got another couple of suggestions of videos that you should probably check out if you've not seen them already, and that's the Team Sky Bus. Matt takes you around the Death Star. And then Dan Lloyd as well takes you around the Lotto Bellasol, now Lotto Sudal team bus as well, and he was particularly impressed with that. Make sure that you subscribe to GCN as well so that all this behind the scenes race content will be easily accessible very quickly. You can just click on my new hat, actually. Mahogany almost. What was that noise? This bus. This is a bus that does stuff. <laughs>